We're going to make use of the old text table and then we'll move over to the new text table. In this scenario, we're saying that the person's basic monthly salary is a $36,122.08. And we're saying that the person's taxable housing allowance is $6,500. Now your gross income will then be your basic salary plus your allowance. In this case, it will be a $36,122.08 plus your $6,500, which will amount to a $42,622.08. In order to get your taxable income, you need to take your gross income less your allowable deductions. In this case, it's your pension contribution which is an amount of $2,528.55. So your taxable income will be $42,622.08 less your $2,528.55, which will be $40,093.53 per month. That is your taxable income per month. Now we want to know what will be my taxable income per year? Now you then will take your $36,122.08, which is your basic salary per month, times 12, which will give you $433,464.96. You then again will take your taxable housing allowance of $6,500 per month, times 12, which will be a 78,000. Your gross income then will be $511,464.96, which is your basic salary of $433,464.96 plus your 78,000. Now we then said that in order to get your taxable income, it will be your gross income less your allowable deduction. In this case, which is your pension contribution. Your pension contribution per month is $2,528.55. And in order to get your pension contribution per year, you will then take $2,528.55 times 12, which will give you $30,342.60. Now your taxable income per year will be your $511,464.96, which is your gross income, less your $30,342.60, which is your pension contribution which will then give you a $481,122.36. So your taxable income per year in this scenario is a $481,122.36. Now that we know what our taxable liability is, we then go to our tax table. In this case, which is the all text table. When you go to your text table, on the left, you will see the taxable amount. And on the right, it says rates of tax. Now your taxable amount is $481,122.36. Now you then have to check in which bracket do you fall you will see that you fall in a bracket that says that it exceeds a 300,000 but does not exceed a 500,000. Now let's make use of the rates of tax. We then take the $481,122.36 minus a 300,000. You will then get $181,122.36. You multiply that by 28%. You will then get $50,714.26. In 
you take the $50,714.26 and then you add a $59,000. You'll then get $109,714.26. That will be your taxable liability for the year. Meaning on an income on a taxable income of $481,122.36, you're supposed to pay tax of $109,714.26. Now, how much will I pay monthly on that amount? You will take $109,714.26 and divide that by 12, which will give you $9,142.89. Meaning on a monthly basis, you're supposed to pay $9,142.89.